Well, let's freaking do it, everybody. It's a fresh week and you are a fresh you. You're losing weight and you're making more money and you're doing all the things that you told yourself you would do on January 1st. Let's jump into a question from a viewer that we got uh, last week, and that was, are roommate contracts a good idea given that you as the landlord are also bound by the contract at that point? The alternative to a roommate contract would be um, just hope for the best, right? Handshake deal, and I love handshake deals, right? When you know that you can live up to your end of the bargain, handshake deals are great, because really the only one that would screw it up is the other person. Separate time, separate conversation, but handshake deal for a roommate could be problematic, right? Because, well, what are the rules and expectations that are agreed to? And because that really is a contract at that point. So really my ultimate answer would be, I think it depends on how, what is your relationship with the person that you're taking on as a roommate? Is this your close friend? Is it your, I was going to say cousin, but most of our cousins are like freaking hillbillies. So I would definitely do a contract with them. So if it's someone that you really trust, probably don't need one. Handshake deal. Look, we're cool. I'm telling you man to man or man to woman, woman to woman. Uh, we're cool, don't screw it up, and everything's good. But if it's someone that you met on Craigslist, or hey, my coworker, this is their nephew, or whatever it is, right? I would probably do one, because while you may be bound, obviously you can, I wouldn't even say skew it in your favor, you just give yourself an opportunity to communicate what is expected and what happens if those uh, demands are not met, right? Like a true hostage situation. So. Here's what I would do. I would stipulate the expectations um, around rent timeline upon which it is to be paid and what happens if it is not paid within that timeline. So, hey, a uh, thousand bucks a month, it's due on the first. On the fifth, it becomes late. If it is late, we add 10% to it, right? So now it's an extra hundred bucks, right? A roommate contract, in my mind, first of all, you can probably find tons of template on uh, t templates on the uh, internet. And, and use that. At the end of the day, as long as it's written down and everyone's agreed to it, that is, you know, is a contract at that point. But probably just use a predetermined contract that is on the internet. But I would want to stipulate that. So what is the payment terms? What happens if those uh, payments are made late? I would also create a clause, right? This is very important, uh, that basically you can kick that tenant out with whatever it, it may be, right? 30 days notice, 60 days notice, whatever it needs to be. I would, if I were renting out a room or something, I would probably do 30 days. Obviously, I wouldn't necessarily wait that long to tell someone. I would just say like, hey, two weeks from now is the first. On that date, I'm gonna give you like an official 30 day notice. That way, you know, you've got 30 days to move out and find something new. But I would for sure give yourself an out. I would also give yourself an out if expectations are not met. So I would have within the contract different things, like I just wrote down a couple things that might be important to you as a homeowner, which would be, hey, are, are you cool with that roommate bringing friends or, or guests into your home? Because you might be like, look, man, no offense. Like I, I, like, I barely know you. I definitely don't know your friend. So it's just you. Like, I, I'm not willing to have guests there until potentially you get down the road and you're like, hey, they, they actually are a cool person. I can trust them. There's no issues. In which case, yeah, you could bring your, your boyfriend, girlfriend, or your, your friend over, right? Um, uh, parking, right? Where are they going to park? That way it's, it's not, it's snowing and, well, I thought I was going to have parking. Well, it's not written there in the contract. It says you park on the street, right? So I would specify uh, parking, noise. Noise is a bit tough to, you know, determine, but something around the idea of, you know, hey, some, no you know, quiet time. Maybe that's what you call it, right? Quiet time. Because that's easier to, I think, gauge versus noise. What, and would you have a decibel reading and you're determining, oh, you're, you know, you're, you're coughing too loud or whatever. But um, so, you know, so it might be quiet time, hey, between the hours of like 10 and 7, you know, I'm not saying you can't like talk on the phone in your room or something, but like, you know, quiet down. Pets, are they allowed to have pets? Yes, no. If so, is there an extra pet deposit, monthly pet rent, whatever it may be. Cleanliness, if there's any chores that are expected to be done, like, hey, uh, you can stay here, it's a thousand bucks a month, but I also need you to handle doing the yard work. So you got to mow the lawn, you got to shovel the snow, whatever it is, right? These are just different things to consider. So I don't think that a roommate contract has to be complicated. I would personally have one because there's just, you know, when it comes to finances and your personal living space, 
which also equates to your happiness, right, is your little sanctuary, I would want those things in writing. So yes, I would do one. Yes, you're bound, but you can structure it in a way to give yourself some outs. Okay, that's that, roommate contracts. I don't have any new whiskey. I've been on a, you know, just hadn't been anything that I picked up for a week. So instead of repeating some previous bottles, there's nothing there. So we'll, we'll pick that up in a couple weeks once I got some, some, fresh, some fresh booze for you. So I hope you guys are doing well. If you need real estate help, let us know. We will do, um, we do residential real estate. We do not do land real estate. I've made the executive decision. We do not do land deals. So don't message us about land. Literally had an email today. I'm looking for an acre. It's a $5,000 real estate deal, guys. Like, you know, you, you, no, 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 no. Um, Finn will sell you one acre of land. I will not. So if you need real estate help, like residential freaking real estate help, let us know. Otherwise, don't let us know. Thanks, everyone. Peace. Damn it, Crispy. I just realized with no bottles, what do I do for thumbnails? Shit. Now I actually have to think about this. Roommate contracts. Are they a good idea? Yes. Yes.